Warner Brothers Studios in Hollywood. It's the Conan Audiency Awards, celebrating excellence in the sitting and looking arts. Here now is your host, Conan O'Brien. Thank you. Thank you very much. Welcome to the Audiency Awards. Uh, for a night this important, first I need to dress the part. Bruce, if you don't mind. Thank you. This is my sexy walk. Here it is, ladies and gentlemen. You've all dreamed of one day having one, the Conan Audiency statuette, beautifully crafted. It took six minutes to make this award. <laughs> and it's highly toxic. <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, let's begin. Our first Audiency Award is for the best impression of a celebrity. And the Audiency goes to the person in seat 5D for their impression of NBA Commissioner David Stern. Yes! That is... Hey. You are David Stern, aren't you? Uh, okay, good God. You just lost your award. Uh, kidding. The next audience awards also for best impression of a celebrity. And the audience goes to the person in seat 7J for their impression of Mila Jovovich from The Fifth Element. Let's take a look. Huh? <laughs> what did you want? The oh, the award. We only have one. <laughs> it's cable. <laughs> <laughs> this next I see. <laughs> This next Audiency Award is also for best impression of a celebrity, and the Audiency goes to the person in seat 17M for their impression of our trumpet player, Mark Pender. <laughs> Why are you puckering your lips at it? Okay, all right. Our next award goes to the person in seat 4S. It's the award for the audience member who has written over 600 pages of Jonas Brothers fan fiction. <laughs> nice. Congratulations. Next, the award for audience member we borrowed from Ellen's audience. It's over soon. Ah. Only it's only 50 more minutes. You can hang in there. Ah. Our audience, making those noises. Our audience is the most generous in the world. Often, after the show, we find that people have left little gifts for us under their seats. Well, we've put all those gifts to good use. Behold the Conan bust, made entirely from your leftover gum. A lot of award shows have their own caddy correspondent to comment on. Red carpet fashions, well, the audiences are no exception. Please welcome our own audiences, fashion assassin, James Sinclair St. Wallens. Mm -hmm. oh. Mm. oh, my crappy fashion senses are tingling. Let's see our first victim. Oh. What a tragedy. Did you buy that outfit at J. Crew? Because it's J. Cruel to make us look at it. <laughs> Who's next? 
오. 와. Great Halston's Ghost. What is that? Wow, I didn't know they had a men's warehouse in the Ukraine. Well, no one's gonna like the way you look. Th- thanks for coming out, though. I'm sure you'd rather be operating a taffy machine at the 1894 World's Fair. Bring me my next victim. Oh, Lord. It's like a car accident. I want to look away, but I can't. Well, well, look who's been shopping in the formal section of Urban Outfitters. Or maybe you were shopping at H&M, if H&M stands for hideous and make me puke. Well, I could do this all day, but Queen Daniel and I are going to have our yum-yums bleached. Smell you later. What a horrible, I hate that guy. You know, all the big award shows always include a respectful and touching memorial tribute. So we too wanted to remember some audience members who are sadly not with us today. That's because their church group's bus broke down just outside of Mendocino. Here with a musical tribute to those audience members we lost is Miami Beach's fourth hottest recording artist, R-O-T-F-L-O-L-W-T-F. In my dreams, I see you on that broken bus so far away, but your memories are close to us. I pray to God tonight is move that bus, but please move away. Oh, God, won't you please just move it, move it, move it. Come on, everybody, let's move those ding dong. Let my ding dong wiggle inside your house. We can wiggle waggle, we can wiggle waggle and move your boat with my ding dong paddle. Move them ding dong. Yeah. Okay, to the members of the First Lutheran Church, we will miss you. Great show tonight. Yeah. 